another Releather finished. Block Logo European Championship. I uh, These are Orm plates. Four millimeter zinc. Can't take anything away from his work, man. They're SD, but he does some, re even at SD, he does some really nice work. Always had good interactions with him. Uh, you know, I've ordered six or seven sets of plates off him now. I went a little different with this one. Uh, I experimented with some of my beveling techniques. And I also, when I do JMAR belts, I typically do the, the one inch spacing on the snaps. It's the original JMAR snaps were I think an inch and a quarter. I, I never bother, I just because I have a template for the one inch. But on this one, I went full on JMAR. So I did the inch and a quarter spacing. I have the JMAR tool in a big hand press now for the, the big stamp here. And the tip, the end there, well, there's no tip, but um, is the correct spacing. I looked up old images of this belt online it is, it, in this, when HBK held it. And it, at both ends, these snaps are really close to the end, closer than they normally would be. So especially over here, I got them good and close based on the pictures I could see. Really, really close. I, like I said, experimented with some new beveling techniques. I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. It's, uh, I don't know if it's coming off on camera, but it's a little deeper. So that, that worked out. I like this nameplate. I ask Orm specifically for that. I think it's cool. <coughs> Another little interesting thing I noticed is when I did my original European, um, I, I did the cut based off of the green one because I was dying it green. This one I did black because I wanted to match this, this nameplate. This little swoop here, you don't normally see that on JMR belts. Normally he goes like in a straight line or all off in a, like a curve. Just a second, buddy, okay? Same over here. This belt, if you look at old images of it, it actually has that little swoop there, uh, surprisingly enough. So I added it in to, uh, to this one. And then the backing, I did the last piece of this I have and can get. I can get other darker blood red croc, but this is the last piece of that bright red. I know that when HBK held it, it didn't have the red backing, but I really think it pops. And um, I didn't have any red uh, leather. And rather than buy a full side, I really do like this stuff anyway. So I did uh, the red cowhide. Uh, the red snake print. Just a second, buddy. I, just a second. Croc print. Um, it's actually cowhide. It's not actually crocodile leather. Crocodile leather wouldn't really work for for this because the belts are too big. Anyway, yeah, so there is Europe. The European Championship, re-leathered in black with a red croc backing and the correct JMAR tooling. Thank you for watching.